Thorsby Chilton County getting hammered with more rain, still picking up the pieces from trees down, power lines down and damage in Chilton County and Coosa County as well. The rainfall rates continue to be very strong in Sylacauga. Lots of lightning from Talladega to Alpine, about a half an inch per hour. It's been raining intermittently roughly through about four o'clock this morning, so we certainly have piled up some rain. Not as much lightning right now in Tuscaloosa County. It's still pretty steady here over in central Jefferson County through St. Clair, but we're seeing some improving weather conditions right now. The satellite and radar composite is also reiterating that. Now, this was just round one, folks. The ongoing flood threat will be something to monitor for the rest of the day. So just know that after already getting three inches of rain from the morning storms and it's still raining right now, the flash flooding possible through 11 a.m. Look for more of these flash flood warnings throughout this weather event. Two rounds. You're dealing with the back nine of round one. We had gusty winds, potentially straight line winds. We've gotten reports of trees down from the morning storms and flooding is also possible through at least 11 a.m. Then we get into this afternoon, two o'clock in the afternoon in particular, that time frame. Large hail, damaging winds and tornadoes are possible. The moderate threat now is really going to be predominant in our southern counties. So Demopolis, Clanton, Selma, Montgomery, south of Alex City into this afternoon, that four out of five risk. Two o'clock in the afternoon is when we start to have the atmosphere prime uh, for shower and thunderstorm development. When those dew points start to get closer to the air temperature, just really saturating the air. And that happens in the middle of the day. We start heating up the pot, the boiling pot of water. And so once the sun goes down and we track this storm system eastward, it should weaken with time. This is the 10 a.m. future cast model. It's showing the rain that we have right now that's over that I-65 corridor displaced closer to the Alabama and Georgia state line. So I like this future cast at lunchtime today, noon. It's still lingering around Montgomery and Auburn. There's that break with the heating of the atmosphere four o'clock in the afternoon. This is just a future cast, so there could be a couple of rogue thunderstorms in between two and four that will likely warrant a severe thunderstorm warning. But once I put this into motion, show you some of these thunderstorms that develop in our southern counties, they could potentially have any any kind of rotation or hail core at 7 p.m. through central Alabama. We put it in motion and still lots of action on our future cast models through at least 11 p.m. in central Alabama. Not until after midnight will that front push through and our weather start to get much better. Today's an alert day, a severe alert day as we approach the beginning of the week. The weather will not be as bad, but we do have another impact.